It's always a vibe on the cruise control. It is the 12th of February, 2020. And we're just reminiscing, taking you back to the year 2012. Yes. When uh, the Chipolo Polo boys did the whole nation the whole nation so proud. Proud. Extremely proud. Now, I mean, Fanatic, yeah. you can't think of Zambian football without mm-hmm. thinking of... Kalusha Bwali. The great. The great Kalusha Bwali. The great, the greatest, <laughs> great Kalu. Yes. Um, so I, I really wonder where he was in 2012, mm-hmm. where he was watching from, um, what he was feeling. Yes. You know? It will be interesting to have a conversation with him. So interesting. Right now. And that's why <laughs> we have him on the line. Good hey, afternoon. Well, We're doing good. How are you doing? How are you? We're doing absolutely God, awesome. God, God, God is keeping us. I'm sorry? I said God is keeping us. You're right. Yes, oh, okay. he is. He That's is. Great. You're live on Hot FM on Drive Time. And uh, since morning, we've been uh, talking about uh, 2012, that amazing year for Zambia, for Zambian football. But we did want to have, uh, you know, a brief conversation with you, great Kalu. Um, it's been eight years since that win in 2012, and it feels like yesterday. Could you share how you felt on that day? Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's uh, the first time that I'm on on your radio, so I'm, I'm really pleased, and uh, it's a pleasure for me uh, to accompany you on this, especially this uh, special day, which is uh, you know Zambia having won the Africa Cup of Nations. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have been on a long, um, long road, you know. Uh, you know what has happened to the Polo Polo. Some of us. You know, we've been there from the beginning. We were there in the K-11 in the 80s. We were pledged to, to start to be with the Zambia national team when we were at a very early age. And also striving for the same goal, the same thing that you are talking about now, to win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that uh, that is the most important. I mean, uh, as a footballer, you want to win every game. You want to win uh, every weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, you go out to get the maximum three points. You want to win. So... Yeah, it's, um, it seems like yesterday for me, mm-hmm. uh, but I want to, you know, thank God first of all that He was able to to give us um, this win, magnificent win in uh, Libreville, uh, and also because of the importance of the fact that this is exactly where our gallant heroes, uh, the class of 1993, you know, uh, lost their lives. Yes, you know, pursuing something, pursuing excellence on behalf of them. So yeah, I. Um, I can tell a long story, but uh, I want to give you chance to, to tell me. I, I think that Ed Rena, uh, Chris Katongo, uh, Sopila Sunzu, uh, everybody who was involved with the team, the Renford Calabas, the goals, uh, I used to say before we went to the Africa Top Nations, uh, we were camped in South Africa, and uh, I said to the boys that uh, for some of us it was going to be very emotional. To go to uh, Gabon, indeed, of what it signifies, and so this is what has happened. And um, uh, it's it's funny because uh, incredible that we played all the games in Nicotero Guinea mm-hmm. and only had to play the final in uh, Libreville. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, ironic, eh? Really good. Yeah. Okay. Now going into into that tournament, uh, many Zambians didn't see us. Uh, we didn't see ourselves going too far in the tournament and may, let, let alone, uh, you know, winning it in, in all. So is it something that you thought we were going to achieve being president of uh, FAS at that particular time? No, no, I think that um, you can't, you always go to Africa Cup of Nations to win. Mm-hmm. I've been to six Africa Cup of Nations as a, as a footballer. Mm-hmm. Um, I was privileged to go to six Africa Cup of Nations as a footballer. And every time we went, we went there with the purpose of of reaching the last, the last day, uh, and so uh, when we went to Victoria Guinea and Gabon, uh, don't forget, you know, in order for you to win, you need to uh, lay a foundation. So mm-hmm. we had a very good foundation. Mm-hmm. And we started the team. We were uh, blessed to start the team in 2003 when I came back to to Zambia and, and worked as team co-director. And I remember that we went to uh, the Africa Cup of Nations in 2006, uh, and uh, we were training in uh, in France before we, we came to to Egypt. We were in the same group with Tunisia, 
and uh, Guinea, uh, Guinea Conakry, and then we were in the same group with uh, Bafana Bafana. Uh, and and in, in in the last uh, in the on the last day, you know, because sometimes I used to participate a bit, play a bit, and then down to Chile, you know, they may so rest in peace. We used to say to me, no, Mr. Khan, you can you can play five or seven minutes or ten minutes. And I remember telling him that no, we want to lay a foundation. That one day the, the, the Greenford Calavers and, and uh, Greenford Milenga, uh, those are the people who are eventually going to win uh, the Africa Pop Nations. That mm-hmm. it's important that we, we go with them to the Africa Pop Nations so that they know the test, they know the feel of an Africa Cup of Nations. And so that is how we have gone sure. in uh, 2006 with, uh, you know, with, uh, with, with, with the boys that we, we took there uh, to. to uh, to Egypt, and so uh, I think that was for me the foundation. Because 2006, 2008 was in Ghana, uh, it was not our best. Uh, then we came to 2010, and with Hedwe now on board, we, we went to the second round for the first time mm-hmm. after many years. After the time that I used to play myself, so we went to the second round in the Africa Cup Nations, and then we lost on penalties. Everybody knows. We lost some penalties against uh, the big Nigeria, the Super Eagles. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so um, from there, you know, when, when Hebrina went to Angola and then afterwards he left, he was in Algeria and we, we recalled with, uh, we came with another coach uh, from Italy. Then we said, no, Hebrina should come back and, and uh, lead us. Um, I think that uh, that was, that is when Hebrina believed that if I train well this team, because already some of the players have played two, three, Africa Cup of Nations, and this was the fourth that they were going to, mm-hmm. the Kenneth winners and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kampan Bachintu, the guys who were team, uh, Christopher Katongo was the first in 2006, Isaac Chancha, um, Kausu, you know, so Sambalungu and, and everybody. So there was some experience behind. True. And, and so it was much, uh, it was, um, um, and we said, for a team to win the Africa Cup Nations, they don't have to lose one match. Mm-hmm. So we went through the, the entire Africa Cup Nations without losing one match. The six games didn't lose one match. Okay. All right. Now, uh, since then, we've also won the AFCON under 20 at under 20 level. Um, it seems to say a lot about our football moving in the right direction. What would uh, you say is, is next for Zambian football? I think that you have to consolidate. I think that Zambia has gone backwards because Zambia has not been able to uh, the, the, to progress after the, the after the 24th yes. Africa Nations. So yeah, Zambia is a big team, we're, we're a super team. We have to be competing at Africa Nations. We Zambia used to go to Africa Nations when there were only eight teams. Uh, I myself as participated with Polo Polo at the Africa Nations with only eight teams. Then we have the uh, Zambia participating with 12 teams. And then Zambia is participating at at, uh, 16 teams. So when you increase the number to come to 24, so which means that basically what it means that uh, for every two Africa Cup, African nations, one goes to the Africa Cup nations. And yet Zambia has been able to meet twice in a row. And and, uh, also looking, sorry to say this, but uh, we are also, uh, you know, (laughs) hopeless. You know mm-hmm. now because we have zero points out of out of the out of the two games played. So it is, I think, it is a disaster uh, for me as a, as a soccer loving Zambian yes. to see that our team has not been able to uh, to maintain. Uh, we were ranked uh, in the top five in, in Africa, yeah. and and today we we are you know we we just celebrating and not so long ago because we are, we are teams. You know, like Ghana, who last won the Africa Cup of Nations, in, I think, in 1982. Uh, and yet they have been ever-present. Okay. They have won the Africa Cup of Nations four times. So we have Cameroon, who has been to the Africa Cup of Nations uh, many times, in Tunisia. Gambia has been, I don't know, it's 15 or 15 times to the Africa Cup of Nations. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. You have to check it. But so mm-hmm. we can't then allow, you know, when, when we have... You know, like you say, the class of, you know, the under-20 uh, led by Moku and, and Patson Daka and the Patson Sakala. And you have excellent, excellent crop of players. And yet you are, you are, you are, self, you are telling in, in, uh, in what is the emblem of a football player for, mm-hmm. for, the, for the nation to qualify to us. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, great, Carlos. Always a pleasure speaking to you. Um, Thank you so much.
All right. Thank, thank, thank you, you so for much giving for, us your time. Yes, We'd yes. love to have more time. Thank Please you, do visit us when you're in Lusaka. Congratulations to everybody who was there, who, you know, who supported the team and mm -hmm. uh, who were able to check, you know, put their hands on the trophy. It's not easy. It's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, it's for the whole country. Um, you mm -hmm. know, it was a marvelous day.